Barbara, what's better, oral progesterone or cream progesterone? Well, let's talk. Conventional doctors treating hormone imbalance tend to be most comfortable using pills and they'll give you progesterone in a pill form. The most common one is called Prometrium. Doctors believe they're delivering a standardized dose when they give you a pill and also they're used to prescribing pills. However, in truth, it's a highly unreliable way to deliver progesterone. When progesterone is swallowed, most of it is delivered to the liver, where anywhere from 60 to 80% of it is broken down into metabolites, byproducts, and uh, eliminated. Now the liver is there to be a little watchdog, so when it sees uh, this foreign substance coming through, it wants to break it down, analyze it, and get rid of anything it doesn't want in your body. So therefore, how much progesterone actually reaches your tissue when you take a pill depends on your individual biochemistry and how hard your liver happens to be working that day. So, because a lot of it is metabolized, doctors will generally prescribe at least 100 milligrams. This is because after it's broken down, about 20 to 40 milligrams of that 100 is actually bioavailable. The rest of it is gone, metabolized by the liver, and eliminated. And your liver is probably overworked as it is, so now you're adding extra uh, stress. Sometimes I've seen doctors, uh, and often, prescribe 200 milligrams, which is even worse for the liver. And another thing I don't like about oral ladies is it can make you drowsy, constipated, and bloated. Who wants that? On the other hand, when progesterone is mixed in a cream base and then rubbed on your skin, virtually all of it reaches your tissue. If you rub on 40 milligrams, you get 40 milligrams. There's no bypass to the liver. Leave the poor liver alone. And then you say, Barbara, what about trochies? Well, trochies dissolve in the mouth, in the mucous membrane of the mouth. And the mucous membranes absorb very efficiently uh, and effectively. So when you do a, a progesterone trochee, you get a uh, steep rise in progesterone right away. And then you're going to get a steep drop. Now this isn't the best way to get hormone balance. We want a nice even keel. So for an efficient, wonderful delivery system, and you know you're getting what you want to get, transdermal is the way to go. And you can rub transdermal directly on your face. The skin loves progesterone. I have a whole video on that. It makes skin silky soft, builds collagen, so it gets rid of wrinkles, and reduces age spots. What more could we ask? Transdermal is my choice.